Hello everybody and welcome to today's reaction video. Uh, today we have a paid request, um, which we're very grateful for. Let's have a look at it um, now. So hopefully Brett, you'll be able to see it on your screen right about now. Can you, sir? Yep. 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 Okay. So um, it's come through from Daffy Dill again. Um, Ten dollar donation this time. So thank you ever so much. That's beyond our expectations. So thank you, thank you so so much for that. Um, really grateful. Um, and yeah, her request is now for a Queen song. You know them, right? Because obviously we think uh, yeah. <laughs> we had that issue in the last one with "She's Gone," which we're not we weren't familiar with that song. Um, but yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody, um, East Ender now living the peaceful life in Lancashire. Oh, um, lovely. So, yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, you know what? It's not my favourite song. This, I know it's an absolute classic, right? But I've never been a real lover of it. What about you? What's your opinion of it? Yeah, listen. I I, I think I do, but I, I, I get you proud. Hopefully, you can still probably appreciate it yeah. for, you know, the, you know, difference and you know, it's, you know, it's famously is one of the first songs to be played on the radio, which was longer than a conventional three or four minutes. So it's a real sort of. Um, but, but I can see where you know somebody may not like his favorite Queen song, but definitely for the term of you know its place in history, it, it, it it's right up there, and it has got a lot of different elements to it, and it, there are some yeah, great it has, it has, great yeah. parts to it. Well, you say that, so a long song. How many minutes is it? You know, any ideas? Uh, I'm sure it's, you know, the near and close to the six minute mark, I think. So let's have a look Five at Five minutes, something? This is obviously the Tommy Johansson cover of it. Six minutes, yeah. All right, so maybe it is the full, full version. Okay, okay fair enough. Um, yeah, so let's go. Is this the Killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama, life has just begun. Now I'm gonna throw.
Okay, so yeah, we're about halfway through, and yeah, I'm I'm really liking it. It's um, it sounds you know kind of like the the original, I guess, and I like the beginning bit where he kind of was it combined his voices, so you had him singing, and then you had him like the background as well. I like I like, really like that touch. Seeing some nice guitar work that same kind of what's the word i'm looking for not aura but that, that that kind of i don't know that positivity from his singing voice or from his emotions when you look at him i think in the last video I, I said it was kind of like a bit humorous i meant that in a good way so i'm still getting that kind of vibe here maybe not quite to the same extent um so yeah it's it's really interesting to actually kind of break the song down i think one of the reasons i've said i i said that i wasn't overly keen on this song it's from what i remember didn't this song used to come on quite a lot when we were like out clubbing and to me it's just not a clubbing song at all um you know like when we were in like the the rooms where they had like the older kind of music and I never used to like this song when it came on. It just kind of, for me, just was like, oh, it's just not the right vibe. But I think when you just listen to it in the right scenario, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, it's good. And still got quite a long way to go. So it's a long song. Um, so, yeah, I'm enjoying Tommy's performance of this um, so far. What about you? Yeah, can't not enjoy Tommy's performance of this. I was actually going to say before we were going to start the video, uh, we went straight into it. Um, basically, you know, the stuff he said last time, and as you said there, you know, he's very entertaining. He's um, very charismatic and, and is charismatic and um, his performance, everything he does. And this song, as soon as I said we were going to do this, this to me is an sort of ideal Tommy song um, for him. A, because you've got the different sort of ranges of voices that he's started doing was is going to be doing throughout there the different instruments that we hear in it that he plays out there so it just fits everything they're doing like i said it's a very sort of um over the top song shall we say um and that's just very much what tommy's all about um as well so it's a very thin song he's doing a great job of it. he's obviously doing it as a, a nice little nod to queen mm. um so as you said even though it's very similar to it he's also putting his own little touches here and there to it um, and obviously we've now got this next bit that's coming on and then obviously the nice ending at the end. So let's see uh, what he does release in this next, next bit.
Okay, so yeah, that was that was really good. I particularly liked the part just after we resumed resumed it where that part with like Galileo Galileo <laughs> came in and Mamma Mia and all that and yeah that was really nice yeah change of voice obviously for that and I think like following on from what you said a few minutes ago it's uh, yeah a, a good song for Tommy to sing because it just combines so much different voices different instruments and because he's so talented he he can he can do it he can perform it really well and I think with Tommy you know with this song and the previous songs we've reacted to he's very engaging it's, it's just a really easy to watch and you can't help but sort of have a smile on your face I think people might have even mentioned that in the comments section but it, it's just he's like an entertainer but not just an entertainer he's a really good musician really good singer he just seems to to be able to combine it all and, and that's what I really like about about him um, yeah really enjoyed uh, his performance of this uh, real classic by Queen um, what about you how did you find it yeah absolutely and I think that's a really good term I think that's sort of the engaging um, elements um, of that I mean it's already an engaging song with so much going on but just with Tommy doing it just brings that little bit more to it and I said and you said in some of the comments said you know yeah I, I, even I found myself you know you can't help but not have a little smile watching him perform um, and he always has seems to have a smile himself as well and as I said earlier yeah you know it's a really good rendition of you know, I said more than definitely nods to the Queen obviously he was a, must be a fan of that song and as similar as it was to the original I said there was definitely still some elements he put himself um, into that as well just a really, really, really good um, performance um, from that, really. It wasn't the sort of bit I didn't actually enjoy whilst um, he was doing that. So, yeah, well done, Tommy, on another great full-out performance there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so thank you once again, Daffy Dill, for your very kind donation. Um, so, yeah, if, if you do donate to our channel... Um, either via coffee.com or in some of our YouTube videos, not available on all of them. Um, we will guarantee and prioritize your request for you. So usually we would get it done within a week. Uh, depends on our schedule for recordings. Um, and yeah, apologies as well for my position today. It's a bit darker here, um, force majeure. Uh, so hopefully we're back in my usual position for the next recording um, and yeah that's it from us so take care everybody and see you again soon for the next one goodbye